वेलकम टू शाइनी कलर फाइनल क्लासेस एवरीवन दिस इज रश्मि हियर एंड आई गॉट अ न्यू वीडियो टुडे सो वी विल मेक दिस ब्यूटीफुल लैंडस्केप टुडे एंड सी हाउ ब्यूटीफुल इट इज लुकिंग सी व्हाट द कलर आई हैव यूज्ड इन दैट सो वी विल ड्रॉ क्विकली आई एम ड्राइंग द माउंटेन्स easy and simple drawing here so when we draw we have to remember the perspective of the boats and i am uh, taking care of the rule of third so i am making all the boards and the side of the composition and these are the cluster of the boards so all the boards are there at side and i'm drawing quickly one by one so the drawing is done and then we have to start coloring so before we start coloring uh, i applied little bit water on the sky before we add up the color so i started with the orange color little bit orange color i started and then at the end i uh, applied little what a little yellow color and then um, i'm making the mountain very less a violet color i applied in the sky very less and i am uh, doing the mountain uh, the paper is wet i mean the edges of uh, the sky is wet because this is the far mountain so i want the edges to be soft so i applied that uh, violet color and then i am applying little gray color paints gray just to add up little darker value in that and this is also uh, that violet color dark violet for the darker one you i am adding a little gray in that so i added gray in the uh, violet color this is little grayish and i added little uh, deep ultramarine in that so and the bottom gray color and the top side it is blue and i am mixing it
adding up the gray color for the depth in the mountain in the bottom side. And now I'm adding uh, up the water here. So again, apply a little bit water, and I'm dragging the uh, dark color of the mountain so that it will look like the uh, reflection in the water, the depth of the mountain, and the depth of the water. Doing little lines here so that the reflection will uh, come in the water. And this is a small uh, land area where some trees are also there, plants are also there. So um, in the middle of the water, the small land area is there. So where I'm making some of the pl plants, some of the trees. And my paper is wet. You can see my edges are soft. So the paper is wet and adding the little dark color in the bottom of the trees. The paper is still wet and I am doing the trunks. I'm adding the uh, gray color, paints gray color for the darker values here. So uh, for the land and the uh, tree, I use burnt sienna color. I'm using burnt sienna color for those trees because it's like evening sky and I used yellow and orange in the sky. So it means the glow is there. So tree are looking a little orangish, brownish. And now I'm making the water. Leaving the boards, I applied water on the paper. So I'm applying little uh, burnt sienna here in the water. And uh, when the paper is wet, that time only we have to make the reflection so that it will blend all together. So uh, I'm applying the same uh, burnt sienna. I add up little uh, gray color in that so that it will come little darker. And we have to be very careful while making the reflection because the reflection has to come just under the tree. It should not be um, uh, shifted here and there. Now again uh, using the violet color for making the water and when we make the water the lines, the ripples, the waves should be there. So the lines are very important. The lines has to be uh, very straight in that. The, now the paper is actually getting dry. It is damp now. It's not 100% uh, dry and it's not wet also. But still we can add up some detail. Adding up the purple color here.
and in the bottom also the bottom will be a little dark because it is nearer so we can see the sky reflection little far so we can make the near water little darker more um, waves more ripples will be there in the water And now the paper is all dried, the water uh, side paper. So I'm applying a little bit blue color that is little turquoise blue just to add up the bluish effect, bluish reflection uh, in the water from the sea, from the sky, sorry, from the sky. Adding up, so see how uh, the transparency comes as I added the blue color, the turquoise blue color. And this is the deep uh, ultramarine color. With that, I am using uh, those ripples, those waves of the water. Use a thin brush for making those lines, those ripples. Or you can use a tip of the brush so that your lines will be thin. And then again, I'm using that turquoise blue color here in the bottom. Slowly, slowly, I'm making those waves, those lines a little more dense. Upside, the lines will be a little lighter and longer. I was seeing with the finger whether the paper dried or not. So, so the paper, paper is all dry making the small small reflection of the tree of the small small plants here also everywhere so see because i have done the reflection uh, when the paper is wet also so see the gradation is there the gradation of the wet on wet and the gradation of the dry on wet so looking so nice the reflection now see i'm making the uh, boards so this is turquoise cobalt turquoise i left a line white line uh, to uh, show the edge of the boat and making the inside part given details of the boat like some poles some edges some base some logs are there and this is the sap green color again here also i'm adding the details Now this is burnt sienna color. I first applied diluted. Now I'm using little thicker, but the uh, boat is wet, so it is spreading nicely.
the other boat also um, I've done with the uh, blue cobalt turquoise. Now I'm making this boat with the green. This is sap green and the base I uh, added little orange, very diluted orange. And the base, I am adding again the uh, paints gray color to give the darker values. So you can see this board, because this board is nearer, you can see the inside part of this board. So that also um, I am showing and the bottom uh, side, it is looking a little darker. So I am making darker, leaving the edge and leaving some detail in, in this inside maybe uh, some net is there or anything is there inside the boat so I'm adding some detail in the first boat that is very near to us and making the reflection also with the same color And where the water and the boat is touching the edge where we have to make very dark because the edge is there and the shade is also there of the boat so it should be very dark there so add up the gray color and then we have to uh, make some sideboards so still giving the detail in the first board the paper uh, is dry now some ropes some poles joint design so all are there um, and I'm adding a little 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 details in that Giving the depth, I left the edge of the boat light color and inside I am making dark. So as I am making dark, it will uh, give you a depth effect. See here, the, the uh, depth in the middle also came where I uh, did the dark color. And again, this sideboard um, is cobalt turquoise. I like this uh, color, cobalt turquoise. Very beautiful. And this mission gold color is very good, cobalt turquoise. I really like this color. And the base, there is some burnt sienna. And uh, giving the shadow also with the same color. Because burnt sienna is closer to the water so it is getting uh, that color reflection the small part is seen between two boats of the water so see the reflection of the uh, brown boat is there that I made with that space And now there is one last boat is there and the direction is changed. So uh, I'm uh, drawing this boat directly base and the top of the boat because I found this place is little empty so I add up one more boat here.
see how beautiful it came. And I have to make the reflection as well. getting the reflection a little more dark so as i'm making the reflection uh, dark you see the cobalt turquoise board is popping up and giving um, its own identity there and i'm making this board a roof a little more de detailing in that in the roof little extra detailing it's all dried now my paper is all dried so the flags and the boat red color will be good because this is the last detail and red color will um, give a nice effect with all blue and brown color hope you enjoyed my video if you like it Please share with your friends also and subscribe my channel. Keep the bell icon on so you will get the notification for my future videos. Thank you for watching my friends. Thank you for the next time. Some last detailing. Some. I am doing this with the white color with my very thin brush. With that, I am done.